today I'm going to film what's in the bag, I'm not going for quite a while. Um, just last week I was down at Zero HQ at Bearwood Lakes for a full fitting, irons and wedges. So let's dive into it and see what I've got. Start with driver and then we'll work down through to putter so driver first i'm currently using the mizuno st190 9.5 standard setting i'll let you uh let's take a quick look at that a really nice looking driver as you can see i love the uh the carbon weave on the crown looks really good Sorry about the light, it's not very good, but yeah, great looking driver. Been using it all year, superb. I've got shaft wise in the driver, TPT 15, low kit point, low torque, lightweight. Probably the best shaft I've ever used in a driver. Superb. So that's the driver. That way there, three wood. Again, Mizuno ST190. It's the TS and it's a 15 degree head. I've got it two degrees up to 17. It's quite a low spin head, this one, so I had to crank it up a bit to get the launch. But again, it's like the driver, you've got the exposed carbon on the crown. But it's uh, again nice, nice on the eye got in that TPT 16 low kick point mid torque standard weight so the driver was a 15 which is an X 16 is an S so I've got that in the three wood back in there right onto the new stuff now Mizuno MP20 so we'll start with the three iron Take a closer look at that. So that's the three iron. I think it's 20 degrees. Stunning looking club. Looks superb on the eye. Let you get a Looks fantastic. Get some better light on that. So that's the HMB and the shaft in that is KBS Tour C Taper 130X so that's the 3 iron lovely club I was using the the old MP18 fly high so that's like the newer version of that moving into 4 iron MP20 MMC so the MC is like a like a player's cavity iron. It's God, again, gorgeous looking club. Absolutely stunning. So that's the four iron. Let you have a look behind the ball. Again, just try and get that light for you. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that's the four iron. And again, KBS tour C taper. 130x grips a black and white multi compound. Also got the same in the five iron as the four iron, same shaft, and then six to pitching wedge. Got the MP20 blades. Now I'll just use these eight iron for example. Let me have a close look at that. Absolutely stunning. I mean these these are fresh out of the packet today, so you know they're not going to look any better than that. So absolutely immaculate. I'll let you have a look down by the ball. Again, it's just absolutely spot on. Exactly, exactly what you want to look at. Down by the ball, get you a better look there. Slightly thinner top line than the 
MP18, but not masses, not masses of difference. But again, just exactly what you want to look at down by the ball. So there, there are the MBs. You can see there, that's the eight iron. Absolutely stunning. So, I want you have a quick, so, so as, you, as you can see there, six, seven, eight, nine, and the wedge. Now moving into the wedges, um, the non-set wedges, T20 raw, I've got 51, gap wedge, as you can see, I've got it stamped GW on the top there, because when I'm playing and I'm, I'm looking down, because obviously, because all the wedges are the same, I'll just have a quick glance on the toe and I can see which one's which. So you can see there, it's got gap, it's got gap wedge on it. I've got a 55 sand wedge. And again, it's got SW stamped on the sole. And lob wedge, 59. And LW on the sole. So I'll just take a, let you take a look down the ball. That's a 51. So it's obviously raw, you can just see the face starting to react now. But yeah, lovely. I used the T7s for quite a while and these just look a little bit nicer. So I'm absolutely made up with these. So looking forward to getting them out on the course and uh, seeing how they perform. So that's the wedges. And at the minute, putter wise, I, I, I mess around with putters quite a bit. And I always seem to come back to this one, which is the tailor-made spider. The black, the black head without the alignment lines, black shaft, and I've got a super stroke pistol GT tour grip with the weight on it. 50 gram weight. And that's what you always seem to come on to. I've, I've, I have honeymoon periods with putters. I mess, I mess around with putters quite a bit, but I always seem to come back to this one. Maybe we should look at getting a new version of this, but we'll see. Um, what else? Oh, I've got a new Bushnell on the bag. Let me take a quick look at that. It's the new Bushnell Pro XE. And what's different about this to the other Bushnells is it factors in air density as well as the other things. And it gives you two yardages. The yardage from where you are to the flag, for example and also a second yardage, which is how far the shot is actually playing, factoring in the, uh, the weather conditions. So that's a really useful piece of kit, that, and I can highly recommend that. Um, yeah, a bit of a game changer, really. So I've, I've used it once up to now, and uh, it's been really good. And also I've got the Tour, the Bushnell bag there, which I don't think you can buy it, but the Bushnell rep on Tour, so I ignore one of them, which was much appreciated. And that's currently where, where I'm at and obviously these new metals coming out starting next year so maybe I'll be looking at moving into the new stuff but yeah at the minute I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how these see how, see how I get on with these and just before I go a quick word on the Mizuno Tofa experience down at Bearwood Lakes what it is is it's basically the same treatment the European tour players get from Mizuno and anybody can make an appointment to do it I think you can do it via their website and what you do you go down to Bearwood Lakes which is the HQ of Mizuno and also the home of the Mizuno tour truck when it's not on the road and you'll be fit for a full set of clubs by either Matt McIsaac or Alex Thorne who work on the truck week to week in the European tour so we'll fit you for a full set of clubs and they'll also build your clubs on the truck while you're there so it's like a lot you know a lot of stock and barrel it's it's as good as it gets really it's, you know, if you're into like a thorough fitting, that's as thorough and as professional as it's, as it's ever going to get. So, if, if that's your sort of thing and you, you'd like to get fit in that sort of an environment, obviously the facilities at Bearwood Lakes and, and the Mizuno Tour Performance Studio are second to none. You know, I, can't, I can't, I can't speak highly enough for what they offer down there. So, if that's your thing, um, jump on the Mizuno website and you can you can find out a bit more about you there.